Hi guys. Uh, <clears throat> when I smoke, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, not sometimes. I smoke every day, and uh, it's not uh, it's not necessarily because of stress. It's, it's just become an, an habit, I think. I'm not saying it's a good one. And I'm also not saying it's a bad one. You know, I... I don't judge anyone. You know? Uh, what I don't like, I don't like. But if you choose to do something in particular and you feel like that's you, then that's you. I will respect that, but I don't have to like it. I'm sure what I'm saying, a lot of people can relate with it with different things, you know? I mean, it can be in a relationship, it can be at work, it can be in church, you know, in the mosque, any place of worship. Uh, yeah. So, in short, like uh, Christian says, salvation, it's, you know, it's personal. You choose if you want to give your life to God or believe or give your life to Allah. You know, you choose that. It's your choice. But I think the main, because I thought about something and I thought, let me share it and see who might relate. You know, this is not to go viral or anything. But I just believe from an ordinary man's perspective, then a lot of people can relate. When we all, mostly Africans, grow up believing there's a God, we are all created, and uh, uh, we originated from Adam and Eve, you know? But, I mean, do we really, is that, uh, is that the fact? I mean, there is a sky, white, and it's what, uh, it's like after 6 p.m. You know? In some places it will be dark. And sometimes here in winter it probably will be dark now already. So, so that tells us that where we are, it's not really a flat surface as we might call it. I don't think it's a flat surface. If it's a flat surface, every one of us we get day at once. Every one of us we get night at once. I'm not a scientist or anything, but with my own little common sense, if you put a torchlight and put it on this thing, sorry, forget if it's all messed up. Like put a torch light like this and light it on this thing. The brightest will be just around here, the brightest. And as it goes towards the sides, then it gets darker. So where my hand is right inside here, it's gonna be pitch black. 
is the same as if it's shining on the top. And that is to say if it's round now. If it's shining on the top. So the top will be something like this. So the brightest will still be here. And here will be dark. So that's, and you see as we move from country to country, some country has a two hours interval. South Africa to Nigeria is one hour. One hour. We are one hour earlier than Nigeria. So that should tell you that we are ahead already and Nigeria is still behind. You know? So, unless maybe this old uh, time clock thing at a myth or just something someone just, you know, created for, for, for something. But we can all agree that in some country, right now, it's 6 p.m. in the evening here. In some country, it's 6 a.m. somewhere. You know? And even if we say the time doesn't prove anything, it's dark somewhere. And there's still light here. So it's to tell you that uh, the sun that we're all saying is shining on us, that sun is shining on the earth but is not heating the earth at the same angle that's my lame explanation so i'm i'm not i'm not schooled in those science and this thing but from my own lame explanation that's how i can explain it and if you say there's God somewhere, some people have claimed they see God, but I just believe to deceive us, they say his face is shining, you can't see it. There's a lot of pictures of Jesus Christ. Believe me, I grew up as a Christian. But there's a, a lot of pictures of Jesus Christ. At some point, some people were saying it's black, that the white people took it over. That Jesus was black, he came from Africa. I believe that. I believe Jesus came from Africa. I believe there was Jesus. But was he really the savior of the world? Why do we have Muslim? Why do we have Buddhism? In Nigeria, we have different cultures and different thousands of gods in Nigeria that we believe in. And it's different because it's different tribe. You know, we've got Hebo, we've got uh, Yoruba, we've got uh, Aousa. And under those three major languages, we've got, uh, I think it's over 300 dialects. You know, which are different languages also. You know? So, uh, I just struggle to understand we're made from sand. And I still kind of believe that because, I mean, you clean your bed at night, you sleep on it. By the time you wake up the next morning, it's a bit rough. It's like there's a bit of sand there. You know? I mean, few. It might be maybe what you were wearing, you know, or, I mean, but a lot of people shower before. They go to bed and some people still see those things but maybe not everybody or people don't really notice but now that I'm saying it just try it clean your bed very well in the morning and in the night and sleep by the time you wake up 
just wake up and just feel with your hand and see if I'm right or wrong you know so it's confusing there are a few chapters in the Bible now that I've been taking out you know we know a human being like you and I wrote the Bible but it doesn't give if it's a, a holy Bible you know that has the most powerful spirit in the whole world why are some human beings taking words out of it just to suit their beliefs about Christianity if it's not to hide something and if we check those uh, words that were taken out you you see that it meant something and it will clearly show you that they are trying to protect something and just because they know the truth but we don't know the truth but we still follow blindly we follow blindly I mean we Africans we didn't grow up our ancestors don't know Jesus Maybe if they know Jesus, maybe it would have been another prophet that was in another land like them. You know? Because we believe. In Yoruba tribe, we believe in Odudua. We believe he's our father. You know, it's where all of us, the Yoruba, come from. Odudua. That's like the supreme being. Then he now bet uh, a lot of gods too, smaller gods than him, because he was the supreme. So he now has like other gods. You know, you've got Ogun, you've got Shongo, you've got uh, 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 Oshun, yeah, Yoshun, uh, Obatala, uh, there's a Shula, Luo, Giri, Oko. That's, that's like devil, you know, we have that too, you know. We've got a... Uh, a lot sorry about that we've got a lot of God that we believe in look at India India have many gods even Chinese they have God but the white people brought Bible to us and now we carry it like it's our for a fundamental human right. We are entitled to it. We have to be Christians. <sighs> I don't get it. This is my honest opinion. I don't get it. I was brought up in a Christian family, but we grow up to find our own path. So with me, I still don't get it. I'm not saying I don't believe, but I'm struggling to get how this whole thing came to be. I mean, God is there and he knows everything. Like, a, is it a hundred days or a thousand? No. Uh, is it a thousand years or a hundred years? Uh, it's like a day.
to him. Let's say it's a hundred years, but I think they say it's a thousand years. No one has ever lived a thousand years. So let's say it's a hundred years. These days you hardly see people that live hundred years. If you live hundred years, you'll be in the newspaper. You will be in the newspaper if you live hundred years. You know, it's like a big achievement. And they say in those days in the Bible, people live 800 years, 300 years. I think one was 900 years or something, a two seller or something. You know, Enoch even lived, was it was 600 or 800, I don't know. Those people lived. Moses. I mean, how, how strong can you be at 800 years old? Have you seen the 90-year-old? Have you seen all this 100-year-old? What kind of food were they eating in those days? That makes them not to grow old. I mean, if they have that food, why don't the spirit manifest into someone so we can also get that food? and live thousand years now doing what i don't know you know oh a lot of things doesn't doesn't make sense imagine the whole world was covered with flood with water no one was left, only Enoch's family. So which means the story of us coming from Adam and uh, he, Adam giving birth to Cain and Abel and Cain killed Abel, the good one. And what happened between then? Are we all from Cain? Where did Cain find another woman unless they had other, unless Adam and Eve had other kids? And yeah, if they had a girl, so. Obviously, the siblings slept together. Because Eve was made out of Adam's ribs. That's what generation said. So it was Eve and Adam. I've heard stories about Lilith, but... Uh, they didn't really include that in the Bible, to be honest. 